Amazon has released a whole new type of way to bid on ads. And if you don't catch it, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So if you go to one of my last videos, you'll see how I was talking about the ad funnel. Sponsor display is at the top. It's built to drive brand awareness. Guys, look at this. It was, it was perfect timing. I swear I didn't know this was coming this soon. I'm creating a new sponsor display ad right now. We can now bid by impression, okay? Drive product awareness. Exactly what I was saying. Top of funnel, sponsor display, drive awareness, okay? So this is brand new. If you go in to create a sponsor display ad, you should see this. These are the options we've had before. If you're new to PPC, if you don't really know um, any other PPC ad, uh, platform like Google or Facebook, you've never seen this language before. You've only ever known cost per click, right? You bid $5, you pay $5 for that click. You bid a dollar, you pay a dollar or less for that click. Cost per click is the metric you, you're used to. If I switch this to viewable impression, now I am paying a dollar for a thousand impressions. So just think about that really quick. Your, and that's why this is, this is built for awareness. Because no longer, if you get a thousand impressions, you could get five clicks on that and you're paying for every single click. But those people seeing your ad, might, they might just be clicking just because they're very top of funnel, they don't know what they're buying. That could be a wasted click that you have to pay for. Now, for a thousand impressions, you're paying a dollar. And you need to look at this here. This is the new language, VCPM, viewable, cost per million. Now it's cost per million. It's just how they kind of break it down. Okay. But CPC versus VCPM. Okay. You need to think about this. If you're not seeing this metric change, CPC, VCPM. Okay. You need to recognize that. So I'm going to hop into a campaign really quickly here because I've set some of these up and it, it'll, it'll probably wrap your head around it a little more. If I go to this, you can see I'm targeting five categories here, okay? I started off very simple. I have spent 44 cents and I have no clicks yet, okay? Because I'm paying 55 cents per thousand impressions, okay? You guys know it's never a perfect one-to-one -one ratio. And this one is the same thing. You'll say, hey, well, this one has a click and you're also paying for it, right? Because I'm not paying for that click. I'm paying for those impressions. I'm paying for top of funnel, people going to Amazon, searching by category, searching by interests, right? They're not typing in a keyword here. This is in a, a kitchen category. I'll say this is in like pots and pans. Someone's not typing in pots and pans and clicking on that. I don't want that person yet. Those are my sponsored product ads. I want to pay $3 for those clicks. This is catching someone at the very beginning of their shopping journey. So I want to get impressions. I want to get in their head basically, right? I want to get in their head and I want to say, Hey, I want to, I want to pay to be in front of this person. I don't care if they click on it yet. I really don't care if they click on it yet. Obviously, obviously it's better to drive click through rate, right? But top of funnel driving impressions. So then maybe you catch the person in the category. So then all of a sudden they're, they are going to a Amazon and typing in pots and pans. And that's when my sponsored product ad kicks in and I pay maybe $3 for that cost per click. But I'm already in their head. They've already seen my product. They've already gotten an impression. They've already triggered, right? So this is completely different to think about. And like for this one, these are brand new. You guys know with brand new ads, you never have to pay that much. I've gotten a thousand impressions. I'm bidding 55 cents. I have paid 16 cents for a thousand people to see my ad. Okay. It's, this is really, really valuable stuff. So 12,000, almost 13 K impressions in total in like a day, $2. So also with the metrics here, you need to think that this is driving brand awareness. So what you're going to see is you, if you build these sponsor display brands out, you're not going to see an immediate sales from these because that's not what they're designed to do. They're designed to keep people coming back, get in their head, thinking about your ad, 
and they might trigger and click on a sponsored product ad in a week and then buy your product. So I want to go in back into the campaign builder here. And you know for sponsor display, we can choose product targeting and we can choose audiences. These really, since they're top of funnel, are going to be better with audiences. So I'm going to do audiences for viewable impressions. I'm going to pay a dollar for a thousand impressions, right? And now we even have more options. Sponsor display are, are getting a lot more complicated because, again, I'm going to keep saying it. This is the, the sister ad, the, the baby ad to DSP. So these are like extremely basic options to what you would have in DSP. If I go to views remarketing, you can see I'm in a kitchen category here, okay? So I'm going to I'm going to bid on pots and pans. Now, this is telling me that I have potential reach. Okay? And you know what? I'm actually curious and I don't know this off the top of my head. If this potential reach is daily, I think it would be daily. 30 days. This is telling me, okay, so I'm bidding to get impressions on people that are interested in pots and pans that have looked at them in the past 30 days. This is Amazon giving us backend access to their data, right? They're always tracking us. They know what we're looking for. They know our interests. They know what we're, what we're interested in. So I'm going to go after all of these and you can see the potential reach that you're getting. So pots and pans is somewhat of a broad category, right? It's not very specific. If I go a little more specific into skillets, I get way more potential reach. And that's what you're looking for here. Like, you know, when you, when you add a sponsored product ad and you see a suggested bid and the suggested bid is crazy high, you're looking more for more potential reach here. So lower potential reach is you're not going to get a lot of impressions and these ads aren't going to do their job. So we have views remarketing, right? Audiences. Now, skillets. Okay? So, if you haven't messed around with this yet, I have made videos on the sponsored display. You need to understand that these are different. These are people searching in the skillet category. You can go to Amazon. You can type by, you know, go to Home and Kitchen, go to skillets, three to three, um, three and a half million people. Audiences, this are people that have shown interest in skillets, okay? People who shopping at activities indicate they are likely to purchase skillets. So a good thing to do here, if you don't want to make a crazy number of campaigns, let's say we're selling a skillet, okay? Group these up, okay? These aren't going to hurt. If you have audiences and category look back, that's why they're in the same type of ad. So yes, it's going to be easier if you want to make one views remarketing, one Amazon audiences category or campaign, that's totally fine. But we're going by impressions here. So it's not going to hurt to really double down and see what these are going to do. Okay. Brand new. I really want you guys to look at this because as I come out with more DSP ads, I'm going to be talking so much more about bidding on viewable impressions. Set these up, set super low bids and just start thinking about this. Paying for impressions, not paying for clicks.